Hey folks, I'm Enes Mukrim. You know, I can't think of any object in the sky without thinking about planet. Sometimes it happens that someone tells you that you are on another planet when you are either daydreaming or have said something <laughs> silly. Today, I'll be taking you on a guided tour to a place that gets galvanized in many people all over the world. It's our red rocky next door neighbor, Mars. Mars is not our sister planet, it is drier, colder and far less than half the size of the Earth. If you weighed 32 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh only 12 kilograms on Mars. The thin air on Mars is extremely dangerous. It's not breathable, it is 96% carbon dioxide, which is actually the gas that you breathe out rather than you breathe in. On Mars, there are lots of things to see and learn. The red planet has higher mountains, deeper canyons and the solar system's biggest volcano. So, why is that important? Well, we must ask ourselves how was this canyon created? Probably by the same two forces that created the Grand Canyon here on Earth, wind and water. This is evidence that Mars once had rivers, lakes and even an ocean. Then, it is very possible that life once existed on Mars. Mars is one of the most explored worlds in our solar system, from orbiting satellites like Mariner 9, to landing props like Phoenix, to moving robot rovers like Opportunity and Curiosity. And now it raises a really big question, can we actually live on Mars? Let's look at the problem this way, here's what you need to live on Mars. Water, food, shelter, clothing and all of the above, plus oxygen. Water is an essential ingredient for life as we know it. It can be extracted from the Martian soil, which contains alone up to 60% water, while oxygen can be produced by splitting water into its constituents parts, hydrogen and oxygen. Next, what will we eat? Well, we will use hydroponics to grow food as well as dried food that would come from the earth. And then we need some shelters. At first, we can use inflatable pressurized buildings as well as the landers themselves. And finally, there's clothing. Davin Newman, a scientist at MIT, has created this sleek space suit. It will offer greater freedom of movement, provide air pressure and keep us warm. Easy peasy, mission accomplished, right? No, not quite. To live on Mars, you have to be okay with temperatures around minus 60 and breathable atmosphere and deadly radiations. Now, think how inspired we will be to see a landing on Mars. Perhaps then we will look back at Earth and realize how precious our home planet is. But what could you do on Mars? Well, as on Earth, someone would start a company, someone would open a school, someone would make documentary movies on Mars and sell them on the Earth. This much is certain, it will be the most disruptive and the most inspiring event in our lifetimes. And as Bert Alvin says, Mars is there, waiting to be rich. Thank you.